Welcome to Solar Twin, the bright flower of solar heating, award-winning and the most innovative type of solar heating around for a long time. I want to show you how to first of all to turn a parked car into a solar panel because solar isn't difficult, it really isn't. You park your car in the sun, you close the windows and you block the ventilators. Parking in the sun gets the radiation, remember conduction can radi convection and radiation from school. Closing the windows, blocking the ventilators stop stops the convection. Lean it to the sun, you'll get and uh, double glaze it. Insulate the sides, the back, paint it black, and you've got a solar panel. Put a flexible pipe of cold water in it, pump it out with a solar pump, Eureka! There you go. It's different, Solar Twin is. For most plumbing systems in UK and Ireland, you have a header tank and a hot water cylinder. We can simply fit that very, very quickly, keeping the existing cylinder, sometimes adding a water softener to stop the panel firing up. It's dead easy. The water's pumped with solar electrics, so there's no mains electrics involved, just two extra pipes. Water goes out to your baths and sinks just as normal, and you time your backup heating to go on in the evening. It's simple. High pressure? Very, very similar. You put a heat store in, which is a large volume of water which goes from now until eternity to and from the solar panel, and that panel heats the water. But how do you take the water out? Well, you do that with mains water coming in through a large heat exchanger. That heat exchanger here is shown grey. The water goes through from the bottom to the top, heating up as it goes, and on the way out, it passes through a thermostatic blender valve, which heats the water up. There's lots on the horizon for solar. Look at the top left. There's a house with a solar panel on it. There's one by the sea. There's a school. Looking at solar heating is not an issue of black and white. It's shades of grey. Sunlight doesn't go on and off. It varies in its intensity. And really what it's useful to do is to actually, like this shot of Ireland, to think of shades of green with solar heating. Here are three shades of green. There are three ways you can harvest light in a house. The simplest way is to design your house to be a passive solar house. That means you have small north-facing windows and large south-facing ones, but ones that don't catch too much summer sun so you don't overheat. In the winter, the lower sun angle means that the, water, the, wind, the winter sun will actually heat those homes and you'll get some value from it. Passive solar design is a great way to do a self-built home. Another thing you can do is put solar electric on your roof. That's exciting. Solar Twin's called Solar Twin because it's solar electric and solar hot water. But it is expensive. One of the benefits of solar electricity is that you can put the excess into the grid. You need big panels. They're not very efficient per square metre. Solar hot water is about three or four times more efficient per square metre and a bit more cost efficient. That's what we're looking at now. The panels can be smaller for the same amount of energy. Why don't you use solar? Well, that's a question I'd like to be asking people, but people are always asking me, why do you use solar, as if I had some sort of bolt growing out of my head? At some point, it will be the obvious thing to do. And at dinner parties, instead of me asking, being asked to justify why I've got a solar panel, people will be asked to justify, when they're in a minority, why they haven't. One of the important things about solar is to be aware that it has constraints. It's a seasonal thing. It's, you get six times more sun in a typical June than December. So why do you want central heating? Because of the lack of sun. It's a bit of a headbang to try to use solar central heating because the demand and the supply curves are the inverse of each other. However, if you look at hot water from solar, it's better because the demand is fairly level across the year. So what we suggest you do is put in solar water heating. And here on the left, we've got one, two, three, and four Teddy households. And you make best use of it that you can. That purple curve could be the output of a solar panel. And a one-person household will have very high levels of satisfaction, but won't use all the heat because it'll be in excess in the summer. The four-person home will use pretty well everything, including the summer surplus, and they'll get better value, but they'll need more backup heating. Eureka! The point came to Kerr McGregor, the inventor. He developed a freeze-tolerant solar panel with direct circulation, where the water in the panel was the same as what came out of your taps. That meant you didn't need to replace your heat exchanger, your hot water cylinder. And it had photovoltaic pumping, solar electric, which meant it was greener, simpler, and better value. One way we make things greener is not just by operating our panels greener with solar electricity, but by selling them greener as well. We survey by phone. We'll zoom in with aerial photographs on your house, and we'll take a look at the roof, and we'll work out which is the best for the solar panel. We'll then ask you questions, all sorts of questions. 
about your roof. Has it got asbestos? If it has, we won't touch it. Can you stand in the loft? Are there bats there? If there are, we'll need a license. What about parking? How about your cylinder? Is it big enough? These eco-surveys, as we call them, they're accurate, efficient, and they're green. They're very green, because if you were to buy from somebody else, they would, on average, have done about three quotations by car, with all the carbon dioxide emissions that goes with that, before they quoted to you. And that carbon debt for three journeys would be on your head as a debt before you pay them before you pay back your carbon budget as a user of a solar panel. We avoid that by, by quoting exclusively by firm for domestic jobs. The specification of your job depends on your property and your occupants, typically a solar panel for a house of one to four people. The main reason we have to pull jobs off is weather. Provided you've got a house of up to two storeys, a low pressure vented system and we can get the scaffolding up and the plumbing in, it's okay. And we have about a hundred questions on the database, which we will ask you. You know your home. Far better than that we, we ask you about your home, than send someone in for half an hour or an hour to ask to do these things. They can miss stuff. You don't. We're award winning. We'd love you to use Solar Twin. Thanks very much from Barry Johnson at Solar Twin.